This tip comes from our Catman Masters series course on pricing, new analytics, issues, challenges, and opportunities. Pricing is the reflection of everything you do as a business, from your product development all the way down to a link to your website, because we live in a world driven by value. Nothing else defines a business and a product more. Let's explore why pricing is truly the unbiased, most important aspect of your business by uncovering its theoretical roots and by illuminating how high of an impact price optimization can have on your profits. Pricing continues to be a core capability for retailers. Most retailers see pricing as a key value lever and they work hard to refine their pricing strategy, tactics, and tools to optimize their approach. Despite recent advances in analytics, decision support tools, and methodologies, retailers are finding that the traditional approaches are not keeping pace. Indeed, the new digital era stemming from big data, mobile commerce, and the explosion of omni-channel retailing has meaningfully changed the environment and requires an overhaul of retailers' pricing strategy and capabilities. In 1992, Harvard Business Review released a study from McKinsey and Company. They studied the unit economics of 2,463 companies and found that a 1% price improvement results in an 11.1% increase in operating profit, which compares to a 1% improvement in variable cost, volume, and fixed cost, only resulting in profit increases of 7.8%, 3.3%, and 2.3% respectively, so getting the right price can have a significant impact on profit. Understanding and having well-articulated pricing strategies is foundational to the success of a retailer's pricing. I'm going to share a few of these strategies with you now. Companies have historically used one of three approaches to develop their pricing strategy. Cost-based, competition-based, or value-based. In order to develop an effective pricing strategy, companies need to take into account and analyze simultaneously the cost, competition, and consumer. Let's review these in more detail. This is the most basic form of pricing, selling something for more than its cost price. You add up all of the costs of providing the service and then add a profit margin on top to represent the value you are giving your customers. Here are the formula to calculate retail price based on cost, which is most common, and based on selling price. This continues to be the way that many retailers set their pricing, and is through either gross margin or markup objectives. Competitor-based pricing utilizes competitor prices as a benchmark. Retailers use key value items, or KVIs, as items that drive price perception in the mind of shoppers, are unique to the retailer's value proposition, are commonly purchased items in the marketplace, and should be based on the retailer's target shopper and the items that they are price sensitive to. By aligning key value items to shopper buying behavior, retailers can improve margins, revenue, and price image. The last and most effective approach to pricing is value-based pricing. It's the method of setting a price by which a company calculates and tries to earn the differentiated worth of its product for a particular customer segment when compared to its competitor. Before we talk about value-based pricing, Think about things from a shopper perspective, or value-based buying. Imagine a senior at the supermarket who wants to buy a can of soup. Two cans catch his eye, the store's own label can, and a branded product. The first costs $1.49, and the second costs $1.99. How does he choose? He asks himself, is the brand name can worth 50 cents more? Is it worth it? To answer this, you think of everything that is different between the two cans. You may have had better experiences with the Brandon variety. One may have less salt. One may have real chicken. One may have a prettier label. 
It's completely up to you as to what you think is important. After you've determined the important differences, you place a value on them and then decide if the branded can of soup is worth 50 cents more than the own label can of soup. Of course, you don't actually do these calculations, but that is how your mind makes the decision. You ask yourself and answer the question, is the brand name can worth 50 cents more than the own label can? It shouldn't be a guess. You need to ask your customers. This is where shopper insights can be key. I hope you've learned more about retail pricing strategies. The full course is available for you through our online Catman Masters course. Here are the learning objectives for the course. It includes advancements in analytics and opportunities to move to price optimization. The Catman Masters course or full program series is available for purchase to help you advance your understanding. Happy learning!